All right, chapter six, F-E-A-R. Having failed to catch ragweed, an angry, frustrated Silverside slunk home. There she hoped she would find some comfort, perhaps a chin stroke from a human, a fondle behind the ears. Using her head to butt open the cat flap that had been installed at the back of the house, she went to the girl's room. The girl, however, would have nothing to do with her. Once again, a mouse, blinker this time, stood in Silverside's way. There were times Silver Sides was convinced that if she could just get her claws into that horrid white rodent, much that was wrong in the world if her life would be made right. Unfortunately, the girl was way too protective. Telling herself she preferred to be left alone, Silver Sides took a few chews of the dry, gritty food bits in her bowl, lapped up two licks of stale water, then retreated to her bed by the furnace. Though... Silver Sides tried to settle down. She remained agitated. In her mind, she kept seeing Ragweed pinned against the hole of the car. She knew she should have caught the him too. If some mouse had not interfered, all she saw of that mouse was the green fur on his head. For the rest of the afternoon, Silver Sides lay fuming on her rug. By early evening, she was intensely restless, feeling a need to do something to calm her anger. Then she thought of Blinker, the white mouse upstairs. Maybe tonight she would be lucky enough to catch the vermin, or at least to torment him. Rousing herself, the white cat crept to the top floor of the house by way of the back stairs. Stealthily, she moved toward the girl's room. To her great joy, the door had been left ajar. A small shove and silver side slipped into the room. There she paused. Though the light was dim, her vision was good. Her sm sense of smell was even better. The scent of mouse was overwhelming. Blinker was close. What a pleasure, thought Silversize, to nab him and drag him from out of the girl's room. It was, just had to be done quietly so no one would know what happened. Treading lightly, Silversize let her nose guide her forward. Within moments, she knew exactly where the white mouse was, on the girl's bed. The cat rose up on her hind legs. Sure enough, there lay Blinker, asleep on the pillow, a few inches from the girl's golden hair, the spot where Silversides used to sleep. The cat's wrath boiled. Silently, she sprang upon the bed, then slithered forward on her belly. A yard from the mouse, she tensed her rear legs, waggled her rump. After a count of three, she jumped. As she did, her rear foot scraped the girl's blanket. That was enough sound for Blinker. His eyes popped open. He saw the cat midair, squeaked with terror. Then he died for the protection of the girl's hair. The girl, disturbed, shifted her head. Though Silversides knew she was going to miss the mouse, it was too late to hold back. When she, when she came down, she landed right on the girl's face. The girl screamed, sat up, grabbed the cat, and flung her away. Silversides managed to twist about, landed on her feet, and galloped from the room. As she raced down the hall, she heard the girl scream, Keep out, you awful cat! In a rage even greater than usual, Silversides tore out of the house. At first, she had no thought where she was going. Very soon, however, she veered toward Graybar's home. The vice president of Fear lived a few city blocks away in a reeking old sewer. It took but moments to reach. Graybar was eating from a pile of discarded chicken innards and bones. Hey, pal, Graybar, Graybar said with Silver Sides appeared. Good time, eats. I'm not hungry, the white cat said. Food stolen from garbage was but one of Graybar's habits Silver Sides endured. Ah, mad. Ah, no big deal, Graybar sneered at as he twitched a raggy, ragged ear. You're always mad. Oh, what you got this time? Silver Sides recounted not only how she had failed to catch ragweed, but how what happened regarding Blinker. Graybar nodded with sympathy. Ever notice that when these mice get away, it's never on their own? Always dependent on someone else. They gang up on us. They are vicious, Silver Sides agreed. Tell you what, though, Red Graybar said, crunching an old chicken leg bone in two with his rear teeth. I've got some good news. I need some. I found one of their clubs. They call it the Cheese Squeeze Club. Silversides' gloom drooped away. Her claws tingled. Where is it? 
down on Durham Street used to be a shoe shine shop. How about you and me go over there and brighten things up? Oh, I'd love to, Silverside said. You're on, babe. Soon as I eat this chicken's heart, we'll get out, go and get up some mice for dessert.